कोई एब्सेंट हुआ तो क्लास रिकॉर्डिंग भेज दो फीस कलेक्शन ऑटोमेटिक मार्केटिंग कैसे करेंगे टीचमेंट वेबसाइट बना के देगा ना टीचमेंट अब पूरे इंडिया को मैथ्स पढ़ाओ सर चाहे जैसी भी जरूरत हो टीचमेंट पे टीचिंग आसान है आज ही डाउनलोड करें टीचमेंट इंडिया का नंबर वन टीचिंग ऐप कैरेक्टर स्केच ऑफ मिराना इन दिस वीडियो विल एनालाइज हर कैरेक्टर हर डायलॉग्स एंड हाउ शी वाज वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ब्यूटी विद ब्रेन लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस स्केच एंड यस इफ यू वांट मी टू मेक सिमिलर वीडियोस ऑन प्रोस्पेरो कैलिबन एरियल डू कमेंट इट आई विल मेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन दैट Now Miranda is the finest among all the women created by Shakespeare. The type of what he regarded as a perfect woman, unspoiled by social customs and conventionalities. She has had no contact since her babyhood with men or women, except for a reserved and studious father, who has trained her in all essential needs of life: speech, dress, gentleness, obedience, and modesty. She was under three when she left Milan. and her only recollection of social life is that of women in attendance on her that is her maids she had around 4 to 5 maids who would guard her and pamper her she is totally unaware of her status in life and of the world in general so far as she knows all the world consists of herself and her father and the strange creature caliban who waits on them she is probably unaware of the existence of ariel For her father puts her to sleep before the spirit comes at his call. She is 15 when her father first reveals their past life to her. Her age appears to us more slowly maturing northerners as being too early for her quite evident maturity, but in Italy women at 15 are as ready for marriage as at 19 or 20 with us. Juliet in the play Romeo and Juliet was 14. Miranda's name like that of Prospero is taken from the Latin the present participle of the verb mirari mirandus to admire or to wonder and means literally the admired one Ferdinand in the love scene opening act 3 when he asks her name breaks out in exclamations as to its suitability for her admired miranda indeed the top of admiration as we proceed in the story we agree with to him that she is a source of wonder and admiration there is mentioned in the play as to her personal appearance the color of her eyes and hair her stature her bearing so this is the physical trait you need not tell this very deeply because it is not mentioned in the play but you have to get an idea about the basic things and let me tell you this is just an introduction the character sketch is down in the next to next paragraph which i'll show you now here comes uh, the next paragraph no we'll continue with this the first impression that she makes on ferdinand lets him to call her a goddess and immediately we picture to ourselves the sculptured forms of venus and juno alonso also terms her a goddess when he first meets her act 5 second one and when caliban tempts stefano now stefano was the drunken butler with her as a wife he states that her beauty is her most important characteristic and that she is beyond comparison with any other woman she is filled with grief over the supposed drowning of the passengers on the ship among whom there surely must be some worthy creature an oracular or mysterious prophecy which was to be filled in a manner she little expected her heart ached to the think of the sufferings her father must have endured when he was cast out adrift in a rotten bark she was moved to tears of gratitude over the kindness of gonzalo in providing for their future her pity for ferdinand's heart and many ill tasks led her to try to take the word from him and pilot herself she did her utmost to induce her father to relent supposed harshness her sympathy led her to her first disobedience of her father's commands her sensitive nature as a woman led her to tears under excess of gladness or sorrow her father's revelation of their rank and the existence of other people and the good and bad in them has awakened her womanhood 
has opened her eyes to the tree of knowledge just as eaves were opened but so differently by the serpent fortunately ferdinand was the first man for her to see the upright and cultured prince and her whole being flowed out to him her next acquaintance was the court of naples with the same appearance and dress as ferdinand and she claimed on the beauty of men and the goodly world that produced such work was simply an obligation that comes to all undivided in nature by our conventions of many and white collar distinctions the piling of the wood became necessary because of father's law and it made no difference whether a man or a woman did it her disobedience to her father revealing her name to ferdinand and meeting him secretly resulted from the conflict between duty and sympathy and instinctively she chose the latter in her innocence of the regulations of society and her native spontaneity her whole heart goes out to ferdinand at first sight she has now attained womanhood and naturally her entire being calls for a mate she sees in ferdinand all that is necessary to fill out her life and she frankly asks him if he loves her to her love and service in love are the same things and if he does not want her as a wife as his wife she will gladly become his servant his acceptance of her as a wife is gratefully acknowledged but not much more than that she would be equally grateful merely to serve him and she immediately leaves him after the avowal her response is vastly different from the swooning happiness of portia after bassino's success in selecting the right casket in the merchant of venice you have read this um, play in class 10th but her love is steadfast and serene the emotions of both are so well controlled that they are next found settled down at the game of chess now let's start with this new paragraph this is what i expect you to write in your answer you have to include the dialogues that are considered to be the quotes now let's begin just under 15 years old miranda is a gentle and compassionate but also relatively passive heroine from her very first lines she displays a meek and emotional nature oh i have suffered with those that i saw suffer she feels pity on the people who are there on the ship and they are drowning and that's all because what his father was doing he was creating the tempest with his magic she says of the shipwreck and hearing prospero's tale of their narrow escape from milan she says i'm not remembering how i cried out then will cry it over again Miranda does not choose her own husband. Instead, while she uh, sleeps, Prospero sends Ariel to fetch Ferdinand and arranges things so that the two will come to love one another. You very well know about the scenes where Miranda and Ferdinand interacted with each other and how Miranda broke her father's promise uh, that she told her name to Ferdinand. And uh, let's continue. In the play's final scene Miranda is presented with Ferdinand almost as a prop or piece of the scenery as Prospero draws aside the curtain to reveal the pair playing chess but while Miranda is passive in many ways she has at least two moments of surprising forthrightness and strength that complicate the reader's impressions of her as a naive young girl the first such moment is in act 1 scene 2 in which she and prospero converses with caliban prospero alludes to the fact that caliban's caliban once tried to rape miranda when caliban rudely agrees that he intended to violate her miranda responds with impressive vehemence clearly appalled at caliban's light attitude towards his attempted rape she goes on to scold him for being grateful for her attempts to educate him when though this not savage no thine own meaning but wouldest gabble like a thing most brutish i endowed thy purposes with words that made them known now you have to learn these dialogues by heart and you have to include them as quotes in your answer these lines are so surprising coming from the mouth of miranda that many editors have amended the text and given it to prospero this reattribution seems to give miranda too little credit In Act Three, Scene One, comes the second surprising moment: Miranda's marriage proposal to Ferdinand. 
आई एम योर वाइफ इफ यू विल मैरी मी इफ नॉट आई डाई योर मीर हर प्रपोजल कम्स शॉर्टली आफ्टर मिरांडा हैज टोल्ड हर सेल्फ टू रिमेंबर हर फादर्स प्रिसेप्ट फॉर बिल्डिंग कन्वर्सेशन विद फॉर now uh, you may add something else if you feel like adding the conversation of miranda with ariel you can do so and many other dialogues are there which i have not mentioned but you can do thank you for watching the video if you liked it and i am really motivated by your comments if you liked my channel please subscribe because i really need it thank you